What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z. And welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is already done, guys. It is already done for you. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a wonderful day today, and I hope you guys are having a blessed week, family. Me, Coach KB, I had a long day today, man. This video was going out late, but you know what? I wanted to give you guys a quick, quick message of motivation, man. I was just kind of just sitting here thinking. I'm thinking about a lot. I got a lot going on in my mind, a lot going on right now. Um, that's because tomorrow, November 30th, some of you might be watching this video now, um, but it is my father's birthday, all right? And so I've had a lot of emotions and a lot of things kind of just raging up, a lot of things kind of just, you know, just sprouting. And, um, you know, of course, just thinking about my pops, man, just how much I miss him and just the things that he's taught me and what he's instilled inside me, which is what I'm passing on to my son and everything like that. So, but I've also just been thinking about this path that we are on. Family, this path that we are on together, this awakening, this journey, this narrow path, but on top of that, the spiritual attacks. And I've been reminiscing and thinking about the people that I've been talking to and speaking with and all the connections and how it all makes sense and how everybody is experiencing a lot of the same things out here in the world. Um, but what I wanted to really let you guys know, man, is that through the midst of your trials and pain, and I'm gonna be honest, I know you guys are emotional. I know you guys are going through a lot. I know you're going through financial struggles and attack. You got, you're dealing with family. You're dealing with crazy friends. You're dealing with crazy coworkers. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with a lot, but at the same time, you wear your heart on your sleeve and you're such an amazing person and you don't understand why the things happen to you that they do. And the people that were out to destroy you guys, listen, I'm here to tell you guys right now, man, I know that, I know that your heart has been broken. I know that you have, your emotions have been shattered, that you have been through so much uh, just, 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 just sorrow, so much, um, just depression, anxiety, bad times, you know, abuse. And it seems like they were really, really out to kill you guys, whether not, maybe, maybe some of you physically, but honestly, also maybe just mentally, emotionally, they was out to drain you, to destroy you so that you could ever, never, ever move forward in life. And I'm here to tell you family that the grave, <laughs> that grave that they dug for you wasn't for you. Woo Come on, I know somebody needs this quick message of motivation today, all right? The, the grave that they dug for you guys, it wasn't for you. It was not meant for you. Matter of fact, it was meant for them. They don't even realize that they was prophesizing and the things that they were doing, it was meant for their downfall the whole entire time. I know you guys have been hurting, man. I know you guys have been hurting. Listen, the narcissist, that Jezebel spirit, what they have done to you, how they reeled you in, made you want, hear everything that you wanted to hear and they reeled you in. But listen, family, I'm here to tell you guys. I'm here to tell you right now. They tried to destroy you. They tried to kill you physically. They tried to kill you emotionally. They wished death upon your life. All right. They did so many things to really try to destroy you. But this is how you know that you, chosen one, are divinely protected. Divinely, divinely protected. Yes, you went through pain. Yes, some of you may went through some broken limbs. Yes, you went through a broken heart, you know, and it took you a while to regain trust. It took you to a, a while to regain your confidence, to regain your strength, to regain your belief system in yourself. Listen, family, those people are projecting Remember, they're projecting onto you. So whatever grave that they tried to dig for you, they ended up backing up and stepping right in it. Listen, God gave you the wisdom. They gave God gave you the knowledge. God gave you have the Holy Spirit moving through you. All right. So the grave that they did dig for you, guess what? You was able to go around it. You was able to jump over top of it. You was able to jump across it. All right. Nothing can stop you, chosen one. That is what I need you guys to understand right now. Even though your trials and tribulations may have lasted for five years. No, 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 no. Maybe yours, maybe you, oh, yours lasted for 10 years? Wow. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. They, they lasted for 30 years? 40 years? Listen, what's your, your struggles, your pain and suffering will not go in vain. All right? 
continue to keep on keeping on. That is why you guys cannot quit. That is why most people continue to live in that mediocre life. That is why most people continue to, they're not able to move forward. They're not able to move forward because they don't have the mindset to move forward. You guys were chosen for this journey, man. So you gotta keep on going, all right? Your enemy set themselves up for their own failure, for their own downfall. Laughing in the background, thinking that it was gonna be you. I'm here to tell you right now, man. You guys are the sauce. You are the cream. You guys are amazing, all right? You're extremely special, all right? God has a soft touch for you guys, all right? But that grave that they dug, man, they ended up stepping right into it themselves, okay? Because the way that they treated you, the way that they treated one of God's chosen children, all right? It's gonna come back on them 50-fold, 50, 50 family. 50-fold. Best and believe all of those people. This could be, this could be your brother or sister your mom or dad, your friends, right? Uh, uh, an ex-husband, ex-wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it may be, there is no limitations when it comes to the most high, all right? So I'm trying to tell you right now that those people that, that broke your heart, that did you wrong, that stole money from you, that wrecked your car and didn't pay you back, that threw you under the bus while you was at work and you got fired, who gave you all the workload and just slammed it right on your desk and gave you all the workload and made you do everything and you got no credit for it. You were never acknowledged. You weren't acknowledged in school. You wasn't acknowledged on the sports team. You wasn't acknowledged over there. You wasn't acknowledged in your family. You wasn't acknowledged in your friend group. Listen, the grave that they dug for you, even though it looked like it was meant for your downfall, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. It never will be for you. And the fact that they are now stepping into that grave, they're falling in it. <laughs> Family, they're falling in it and they can't get back out. And I'm not saying that from like a perspective of going, you know what I'm saying? Like they're dying and stuff like that. What I am saying is that <laughs> the things that people have spoke out of their mouths to happen to you, it is now happening to them. All right. People wish for you to lose your job. They was like, you don't deserve to make 150 K a year. God, why did God, why, why did God give you that? You don't deserve that. And guess what? Now they are losing their job. Now they are losing their car. They're losing their family, their connections, their financials. And this is what's important because this is why they come back into your lives. They know that they did y'all wrong. They know, like I said, that y'all was the sauce. You gave them everything, chosen ones. You gave them everything. So they already know. They just thought that they could take advantage of you because they could see your light and they thought that they could just walk over top of you thinking that you wasn't gonna do anything about it. You wasn't gonna do anything about it. But guess what? My, 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 had the tables have turned because you did not fall into that grave. You jumped right over it. Matter of fact, you skipped over it while singing. Matter of fact, the puddles that filled it up None of that rain, none of that, none of it touched you. None of it touched you. You guys are on your way, on your way to becoming your greatest self. So when they come back into your lives, it's because they feel that remorse. They feel sorrow. They know that they did you wrong. They know that what they did is not gonna go so well for themselves. And that is why they are falling into their own grave, family. Of course, my light would cut out on me, so I had to fix that situation all right quick, family. But like I was saying, they are falling into their own grave, all right? So you gotta let them stay there, man. You can't continue to help them out of it, all right? And be honest with yourselves, that might be some of y'all's issue. You continue to help them out, and guess what? That's when they take advantage of you. That's when they continue to use and abuse you, and you find yourself being pulled back down into that abyss, and you don't even know how to get out. You don't know how to swim to the top. You don't know how to get out. They're suffocating you, they're drowning you. They're drowning you, they're draining you from every aspect of your lives, simply because you're a good person. All right, and they can see that, they can see your light, and they're decided to take advantage of it because it's going to benefit them. Family, this is your confirmation right now. You gotta cut that off. You have to cut that energy, cut that umbilical cord, cut that off, all right? Because when you do that, you're going to regain your fire. You're going to regain your power. And guess what? They're going to be pissed, family. They're gonna be upset about it because you're no longer providing them the benefit that they can use you for. 
All right. So when you take that back, when you stand tall, when you stand tall, guess what? There is no grave for you to step into because you're going to know how to maneuver around it. You're going to know how to jump over it. You're going to know how to skip over it. You're going to know how to walk around it with a blindfold on. You will not fall for their tactics any longer. All right. And be honest, some of you might continue to be falling for it. You might be walking. You might be walking around and whoop, you fell right into that grave. They're continuing to pull you back. All right. Recognize the signs, pay attention to their patterns, pay attention to your patterns and the things that's happening along your journey and along your path. All right. But I'm telling you, family, because you are divinely protected. OK, this is something you got to really remember, man. All right. You got to truly remember this. And yes, maybe you've received some broken bones or you've received some bruises or, you know, you've gone through a lot of things, financial struggles. You've gone through um, losing things. All right. Which we already know that you're supposed to lose things. You're going to lose things. But God's going to fill you back up. OK, but at the same time, you are divinely protected because there's a lot of things that was meant to harm you in a monumental way. All right. And it completely changed course for you. All right. Pay, it's, it's just like pay attention. For instance, if you're late, if you're running late for work one day, let's say one day, every single day, let's say Monday through Friday. Right. Your alarm is set for 530 a.m. to get up. OK, but one day it doesn't go off until 545. All right. So you're running a little bit late for work on this particular day. But the thing is, is that along your your path to work, there was a major, major car accident, family, all right? And that could have been you, all right? And you're sitting there scratching your head every morning. You're like, oh, why am I, why am I late? Why did my alarm go off when it's been going off at the same time, 5.30 every single morning? Why tonight or why this day did it go off later? I didn't change it. I didn't do anything because you're divinely protected, all right? God was looking after you. That's why sometimes you guys are late. That's why you can't be reacting to situations when they happen along your, your path. You gotta, you gotta see it, you gotta pay attention and think about it, observe, you're like, yo, I was actually saved, all right? So it's the same situation. When these narcissists, when the boss, when the family members, you know, your friends, when people have, when they're plotting behind your back, you know what I'm saying? And they're, and they're, and they're preying on your downfall, using spell casting and witchcraft on you, and they're digging your grave, hoping that you're gonna step into it. It was never meant for you, it was meant for them because their demonic and evil ways is going to pull them back. God's going to take care of them, family. You don't have to retaliate. That's another beautiful thing. You don't need to be retaliating against these people. All right. You don't need to, you don't need to try to be evil back to these people and, and wish for their downfall and, and curse them out. And, and of course you're human, of course you're human and you're going to do some crazy stuff. You're going to say some things. However, hold your tongue, <laughs> hold your tongue. All right. Try not to say things that you know you're like, oh, I shouldn't have said that, right? Because remember, man, life and death is in the power of tongue. So be very, very mindful about the things that's coming out of your mouth, family, okay? But those people, the narcs, the people that did you wrong, they're not careful about it. They don't care. They're not thinking about it. They don't, it doesn't matter to them, all right? And that is why a lot of things is coming back on them. And not only that, because you're one of God's chosen children and you're divinely protected, okay? So the grave was never meant for you at all, even though it may felt it feel like it, you know, it felt like you was going to go go down. It felt like you was you was never going to make it out of situations. You was never going to make it out of that abuse, out of the out of the things that you have gone through. Guess what, family? It was never meant for you. It's going to turn around and it's going to be against those people that did you guys wrong, family. OK, so, man, I just wanted to give you guys some motivation. I had a I had a little revelation, you know, just just talking about that, just thinking about spiritual attacks, thinking about, you know, God's chosen children, thinking about you guys, your chosen ones thinking about what you guys are going through, um, reading your comments, you know, guys, listen, if you comment, like I said, if you comment and I don't get to it, I'm sorry. There's a lot of comments, um, emails I'm getting back to through you guys that's been emailing me. So I've been very, very busy the past several weeks. Um, however, Hey, we in this together, family, we are in this together. So I need y'all to realize, remember the grave was never for you, man. The grave was never for you. Okay. They tried to blindside you from every angle and just, they wished and hoped that you was going to step right into that grave so they can put some dirt right over top of you. They can put some dirt right over top. It never worked out. No weapon formed against you guys shall prosper, man. So continue to keep pushing, continue to keep on keeping on. This is a late video. It's probably Wednesday when you watch this video. It's probably Wednesday when I drop it, even though I said Tuesday in the video, it doesn't matter. As long as the message gets out, that's what I care about. And um, like I said, I had a long day today, so I still had to get something out for you guys. So I love y'all to life. Y'all have a great, great rest of your evening, great rest of your day, wherever you are in the world, whatever time zone you're in. 
Stay blessed. I love you guys to life and I will see you soon in the next video. Peace.